Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel and it's your guy Uncle here. In today's video, what you're talking about is seven side hustles every photographer can do alongside being a photographer. So without much ado, let's get into it. <laughs> You know, photography is a sort of a free entry and a flexible kind of um, profession. And once you find yourself being a photographer and um, you would want to actually do some things alongside being just a photographer, you can consider some of these side hustles, which I'm about to highlight them in my next bulletin. So without much ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first side hustle on my list is offering photography classes and tutorial sessions for beginners and people who actually like your kind of photography yeah at this point i know that you have actually acquired some kind of um, knowledge along your journey and um, you can actually share and gain something from what you've learned by offering photography classes for other photographers and beginners alike okay so the second point on my list is offering retouching services definitely you be the photographer you have the skill to actually retouch and um, edit photos so you can offer that services to other photographers. If you have some nice kind of um, retouching style, you can actually get some of these gigs by reaching out to other photographers and getting their works done for them. Where do photographers actually need um, hands when it comes to retouching and editing photos? Because you know wedding is kind of hectic and um, some of them need um, extra help with getting clients, work delivered and all those stuff. Me personally, I have actually um, done some of these retouching services. That was um, during the lockdown. You know, when nothing was going on, there was no movement, everyone was in noise. I actually designed an artwork, sent it to some few photographers, and Charlie, I got some coins out of that. So you can also try that by offering retouching services. And also, the third on my list is second shooting for other photographers second shooting someone may ask that what is second shooting second shooting is more or less like assisting the main photographer for the event so let's say photographer a is the main photographer for the event this mostly happens on um, weddings and events yeah so the main photographer on the event, on the event will actually outsource um, some specific tasks to you to actually carry out on the day of the event which might be um you may be focusing let's say wedding for instance you focusing on maybe the bridal details and he will be doing more of the candid movements and other other parts of the of the event okay so the fourth side hustle i'll be talking about today is actually um selling of print frames and also digital products so as a photographer definitely your end product will be soft copies of your um of your work which some clients actually prefer to see the their soft copy in a physical state so you can move ahead by printing them out and framing them and by that you get to make money out of it and that really saves you extra money aside the charges you go for your normal um, photo session <laughs> photo sessions your normal photo sessions and also selling them um, digital products when it comes to selling digital products, um, it's somehow not easy. Digital products may be um, selling stock images, selling large lookup tables, um, selling presets, selling actions, the list goes on and on and on. Selling these products um, actually help you because you know, once you create digital products, people may actually be in love with your works, your style, and, would actually want to get that kind of feel from how you achieve all of those stuff so what you can actually do is to create these digital products put them online and people will purchase them. you just get to make some coins for yourself okay guys so the next side hustle on my list is i'm um, offering mentorship and consultation sessions for up and coming photographers okay so with mentorship what you get to do is you enroll some people under you who would actually understand you for some time and um get to learn how the craft and the industry really operates this really helps you by extending um how do you how do you call it um extending hand 
and also pouring back into the society. By this way, you are making some amount of money for yourself. The sixth side hustle on my list is retailing of camera gears and equipment. You know what? Um, this is mostly underlooked by most photographers and uh, I personally have friends who are into this business and Charlie, it really goes on well. So you can actually outsource um, for lenses, camera bodies, camera covers, microphones, SD cards, tripods, lights, all of our stuff we use, you can actually outsource with that. And once they are in, you can sell them to your fellow photographers and you make some coins for yourself. The last and final point on my list on today's episode of the side hustles and um, every photographer can actually get into is painting and selling of canvas backdrops. Charlie, this part's like I personally have um, a plug where I am into um, canvas backdrop sales. With the canvas backdrops, it's quite um, how should I even put this thing? It's quite daunting when it comes to um, painting of canvas backdrops. It's a special technique and a special skill you should harness before you can actually get into this. But then if you have that creative eye and the creative mind to actually get um, along with colors and play with colors, you actually find your way through by painting canvas backdrops and selling them. Those canvas backdrops are really expensive. Like a seamless backdrop will go for, I think as at the time of recording this video, it is 400 CD, some to sell it at 450. But then canvas, a just thin strip of canvas backdrop will cost you like 600 upwards. And so you can actually learn the skill of painting canvas backdrop by learning how you can use rollers, you can use brushes, painting and techniques, hey, my friend. painting and techniques, and also um, colors. Because this basically, when it comes to canvas backdrops, is basically colors. And everything we are doing is based on colors. So guys, if you actually found this video helpful, you can hug smash the like button and um, leave us a comment. If you don't have anything to say, I always say this. If you don't have anything to say, just leave a fire emoji in the comment Please section. Check. Check. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, share to other creatives. On to the next Charlie Hugo Talk Charlie. Peace.